Hey all, this is Bob, aka Mr. Reef Safe, and I wanted to give a quick update on my phytoplankton cultures. So as you can see, I have four different setups for my cultures going, each in a 10-gallon aquarium, each having a bubbler that has four different hoses on it. I picked up some Murloc fittings so that I can make it easier to put the hoses in and out and that they would stay in place. Next time I set it up, I think I'll get some rigid tubing so I can make sure it goes exactly where I want it to go. Recording and pouring in the phytoplankton was a little more difficult than I thought, so I'm only going to be showing you this particular one. You can see how clear the water was before. This is about 9 gallons of water, and I'm adding in a full liter of phytoplankton. You will notice the flakes that I pour in that happen during shipping. I'll leave them in there because I think that'll help it grow anyway. I'm looking forward to see how this comes out. Notice how clear the water is. It has a slight tint to it, and then once I add the phytoplankton in, it has a tint to it. So there is the first three. Now this one here is the darkest phytoplankton of each and every one of them, and you will notice just how much different this one is. Each one of these got one liter of phytoplankton. The reason that you want to grow them separately is that the nanochloropsis will grow faster and outperform the other three. And if you do that, you'll have just one type of phytoplankton if you're trying to grow all four at the same time. There at the bottom again, you'll see those flakes, but I'm not worried about that. That will just help with the culturing because it will grow even from that. I'll let this go for a week to 10 days, but of course I will check on it from time to time, and if necessary, I'll add more fertilizer. If this goes well, I'll probably up my game again, but time will tell. This is Bob, aka Mr. Reef Safe. Catch you all next time.